SpaceX was chosen to launch a spacecraft built to deflect an asteroid. That asteroid isn't headed for Earth. But NASA's DART mission is intended to demonstrate how the agency could deflect a threat. Sounds like a movie, right? Yeah. Channel Line's Melanie Hole live in Titusville right now. And Mel, this spacecraft will crash into that asteroid on purpose. That's the plan, and it's a first for NASA. And the trajectory of that asteroid doesn't have to change much to demonstrate the technology works. It sounds like something straight out of a Hollywood movie, but NASA is preparing for a first ever planetary defense mission to demonstrate its capability to deflect an asteroid by colliding a spacecraft with it at high speed, a technique known as a kinetic impactor. It's being built out of uh, applied physics lab at the John Hopkins University. So they are building the spacecraft, and in this case, SpaceX will be launching the DART mission in the June 2021 timeframe is the is the anticipated window when we can open. The total cost for the double asteroid redirection test or DART is $69 million. The mission is set to launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Obviously, we'd have loved to see it here, but um, it, there's still a lot of the work will go on here with, uh, with the launch services program here at Kennedy Space Center and all of the mission work that will get done. DART will use an electric propulsion system to travel to the asteroid Didymos. The spacecraft will collide with a small moon orbiting Didymos and change the speed of the moonlet in its orbit, enough to be measured using telescopes back on Earth. Something's getting done about it, right? I guess that's, the, that's maybe the message. So there's not just, uh, you know, let's say, hope or, or something along those lines that, hey, if something happens, what would we do, right? In case you were wondering, when that DART spacecraft intercepts that asteroid, it will be within 11 million kilometers of Earth. We're live here in Titusville. Melanie Holt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.